All right, so here's a way to create a couple of different styles of clipping mask. Clipping masks are really easy. Um, so here's this picture of this llama. And let's say I want text across the top. And so I've created this orange box, but I want the text to show through. And I want the text to look like it's the image behind. So I have text right here. Llamas are cool. Okay, so I have original image, rectangle, text. Now I copied this image and made a copy up here. And the way this looks right now is you can see the copy. I turn it on, it basically covers everything up. But I only want this image showing where the text is. And that text just happens to be on top of this box. So uh, the only reason the box is here is, is so that you can actually see the text outline. Otherwise, it would just look like a direct copy of the background. So it seems complicated, but it will make sense. All I need to do now is hold Alt on the keyboard. As I hover between these two layers, you'll see that icon show up. That's the clipping mask icon. So when I hold Alt and click right here, you'll see now that I have llamas are cool. Um, and that shows as this layer here. So it is stuck there as well as the, um, the text. You can kind of shift around a little bit still. So it's being clipped into that rectangle, which is right here. Okay, so that's one way to do it. Uh, another way to create a clipping mask is to have an image like this. Okay, I have this other llama here, um, but I want this llama to show up not in a um, square or rectangle. I want it to be a circle right here. And so what I've done is created a circle on the previous layer like this using the shape tool and filled it with black, um, like a lot of masks that we use, uh, like layer mask kind of uh, does the same thing. And I have this image on top of it. Okay. You see my layout here. So circle shape, llama, picture, and I want to create a clipping mask out of that. I'll do the same thing. I'm going to hold alt on the keyboard, hover between these two layers and select. And so now I've got tiny llama in a circle right there. That's a clipping mask with images. This is a different type of clipping mask with text couple different ways that you can use this technique and have fun with it.